Around the World with Willy Fogg Spanish, La Vuelta al Mundo de Willy Fogg, Japanese, Anime 80 Region Shiji Yijo is a Spanish-Japanese animated adaptation of Around the World in 80 Days by Jules Verne produced by Spanish studio BRB International and Television Española, United States studio Intersound, Inc. In 1985, with animation by Japanese studio Nippon Animation, that was first broadcast on ANTENNE2 in 1983 and TVE1 in 1984. In the same vein as BRB's Dog Tanyan and the Three Muskhounds, the characters are anthropomorphisms of various animals as the species depicted are of much greater variety than in that series. The core trio are all felines being pursued by three canine foes. Willy Fogg, Philly's Fogg in the original book is depicted as a lion, while Rigodon Passpartout is a cat, and Romy Alder is a panther. An English dub of the series was directed by Tom Winner, which featured artists such as Cam Clark as Rigodon, Gregory Snegoff Inspector Dix, Steve Kramer as Constable Bully, and Mike Reynolds. While the series never achieved popularity in the United States, the English version found fame when it was broadcast on Children's BBC in the United Kingdom. The series was initially screened in 1984 in the UK and has been repeated many times since and then on RTE in Ireland, while other dubs gained the series fanbases in several other countries. The series was also dubbed into Japanese and aired on Japan's TV Asahi in 1987, where it was titled Anime Around the World in 80 Days Anime 80 Region Shiji Yijo, Anime Hachi Junichi Kan Sekai Ishu. With all of the international versions, the height of popularity remains in Spain, where a sequel series, Willy Fogg 2, was produced in 1993 which has the characters in adaptations of Verne's science fiction novels, Journey to the Center of the Earth and 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Furthermore in 2008, the series spawned a live-action theatrical musical show in celebration of its 25th anniversary. Plot <inaudible> 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 As with every morning since he moved into Savile Row, Willy Fogg awakens at 8 a.m. and rings for his servant, only to remember that he fired him the previous day for his inability to follow Fogg's precise schedule. He has already arranged an interview for a replacement, former circus performer Rigodon, who is even now rushing towards Fogg's house to make his 11 a.m. appointment. Rigodon is accompanied by his old circus colleague Tico, who hides within his traveling bag, and prompts him through the interview, which gets off to a bad start when Rigodon arrives four minutes late. Nonetheless, Rigodon is hired by Fogg as his butler and soon departs for the reform club. At the club, the main topic of conversation is the recent theft of £55,000 from the Bank of England which was discussed till the bank's governor Mr Sullivan arrives and requests a change of topic. Sullivan's off-hand remark that the thief is still in London causes the elderly Lord Guinness to bring up an article in the Morning Chronicle, detailing how it is now possible to travel around the world in 80 days. The article states that one departs London by train for Dover, where one crosses to Calais, and on to Paris. From there, it is a train journey to Brindisi, and the Suez Canal, all within a week. Having rounded the Arabian Peninsula, one would arrive in Bombay on day 20 and then a three-day railway journey to Calcutta. 
Hong Kong is reached on day 33, Yokohama on day 39, and then a mammoth three-week crossing of the Pacific to arrive in San Francisco on day 61, a week-long train crossing to New York City and then finally a nine-day crossing of the Atlantic back to London making it possible to circumnavigate the globe in 80 days. The other members of the club laugh at Lord Guinness's suggestion that he would take on the challenge if he were younger, prompting Fogg to defend his honour by taking up the task himself. Sullivan bets Fogg £5,000 that it is impossible, and additional wages by three other club members increase this amount to £20,000. He then stuns the club by announcing that he will leave that very evening and promises to return to the club by 8.45 p.m. on 21 December 1872. Rigodon is less than thrilled to hear the news of their impending trip, having spent his life traveling with the circus. However, he dutifully accompanies his master as they set out, with Tico still in hiding. Little do they know, however, that they are pursued by three individuals determined to halt their progress. Inspector Dix and Constable Bully of Scotland Yard are convinced that Fogg is the thief who robbed the Bank of England, and the wicked and conniving transfer, a saboteur, was hired by Mr. Sullivan to impede Fogg's journey in any way. Topic Cast Topic Main Characters Topic Supporting Characters Topic Music Topic Spanish Six songs were crafted for the series, composed by background score writers Guido and Maurizio de Angelis and performed by the group Most Aids. The songs were synced with the movement of the animated characters. The eponymous theme song, La Vuelta al Mundo de Willy Fogg, was sung by Fogg, Rigodon, Tico, and Romy, while Rigodon and Tico also provided the ending theme, Shiel Barme, Whistle to Me. Extended versions of both the opening and closing theme tunes were regularly sung by the characters in show in short musical numbers during the course of the series. As was the Dix Y Transfer duet in addition to different melodies performed by the protagonists entitled America America and Hey Q Viaja. It is necessary to travel. The sixth song, Romy, was performed by the titular character, although it only featured in the series in an instrumental form. It would, however, later be used as the closing theme of the sequel series, Willy Fog 2. The Spanish soundtrack was released in 1984 in LP album, CD, and cassette formats. The soundtrack can also be downloaded in Spanish in MP3 format from Amazon's Spanish website. Topic: <laughs> English. The soundtrack was re-recorded for the English dub of the series by Parties Unknown, reusing the De Angelis's music but with new English lyrics that are similar to the original Spanish. Perhaps most prominently, Hey Q Viaja was retitled Daisy and became a song about a woman by that name. All six songs were re-recorded in their entirety, even. Romy, which did not appear in the series. 
The English soundtrack is available to download in MP3 format from Amazon's UK website. Topic: Japanese Two new theme tunes were composed for the Japanese dub of the series, both sung by Keiko Han. The opening theme was entitled, Skyway, while the closing tune was named, Our Two Watchers. <laughs> Finish Songs in the Finnish dub were sung by the actors of YLE Import reusing the De Angelis's music but with new Finnish lyrics. In the Finnish dub some scenes are cut, which includes musical numbers in some episodes. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Check In Czech some scenes from Willy Fogg episodes are cut songs. But those deleted scenes are used in the opening and ending. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Staff Topic Spanish produced by BRB International with the collaboration of Television Española Music by Guido and Maurizio de Angelis Music Publisher Cabum Magister Special Thanks to Iberia the airline of Spain songs performed by Most Aids directed by Luis Ballester Executive Producer Claudio Bien Boyd Original Screenplay Claudio Bien Boyd Script Coordinator Rafael Sola Dialogue Adapter and voice director, Manuel Piro Associate Productors, Jose Luis Rodriguez and Jose Manuel Iglesias Audio Mixed by, Oscar Gomez Editor, Soledad Lopez Assistant Editor, Carmen Ortega Special Effects, Luis Castro Production Assistant, Maria Aragon Production Coordinator, Marisa Mato Sound Technicians, Eduardo Fernandez, Alfonso Pino, Jose Esquirol, Jose Maria, San Mateo Recording Studio, EXA, SA Laboratory, Photofilm Madrid, SA. Topic: Japanese production. Animation by Nippon Animation. Director: Fumio Kurakawa. Producer: Koichi Motohashi. Character design, Asamu Kamata Storyboards, Eiji Okabe, Fumio Kurakawa, Hiramitsu Marita, Katsumi Endo, Ko Suzuki, Shige Okoshi, Shigeru Amachi, Toru Hagawara Episode directors, Fumio Kurakawa, Eiji Okabe, Hiramitsu Marita, Toru Hagawara, Yukio Okazaki Animation directors, Hirokazu Ashino, Hisatoshi Motoki, Takao Kanishi, Yukio Abe Music by, Shunsuke Kikuchi Theme songs by, Izumi Kobayashi Theme songs performed by, Keiko Han English dub Music Sub Publisher, Southern Pictures Music Inc. Recorded and remixed at Intersound Inc. Hollywood, USA. English version directed and supervised by Tom Winner. English adaptations by Tom Winner, Bird Elman, Cynthia Lake, Ben Martin. Topic. Home media Beginning in 1988, select episodes were released in the United Kingdom on PAL VHS tapes by Video Collection International then, Lollipop Video, rated U for Universal, and deemed suitable for all ages. 
The series distributed by BRB International, was co-produced with Televisión Española, as a result, BRB International must give approval before any future home video release of the series is made available. Around the World with Willy Fogg on UK VHS, Video Collection International and Lollipop Video in 3 October 1988 until 4 June 1990. Topic VHS UK history. Video Collection International, then Lollipop Video, the 3rd of October 1988 to the 4th of June 1990. Topic Willy Fog 2. Due to the success of the first series, BRB and TVE revisited the franchise ten years later in conjunction with Wang Film Productions in Taiwan, released a sequel series simply titled, Willy Fog 2. The series ran to 26 episodes, and consisted of two separate serialized stories that were based on the original novels, the first was Journey to the Center of the Earth, which played out very similarly to the first series. Again a bet was made with Sullivan, and he sent transfer to cause havoc. This time, however, more people believed in Willy Fogg, although all of them apart from Lord Guinness turned against him at times, when reports came back that the volcano they journeyed into was about to erupt. Romy, Tico and Rigodon went with Willy on the voyage again and were joined by Professor Leidenbrock, an expert in archaeology and Hans, an Icelandic who acted as a general dog's body. The team again made it, just in time to win the bet. The second story was adapted from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, and was completely different from the other two. Willy was invited to help investigate strange events as several ships had been attacked by what seemed to be a sea monster. Willy, Romy, Rigodon and Tico went, although soon the ship they were on was invaded and they, alongside Ned the harpoonist and another professor, were kidnapped by the mysterious Captain Nemo. After having adventures under the sea, they finally escaped. As production occurred in Taiwan, the Japanese studio who made the first series, Nippon Animation, was not involved in Willy Fog 2, as is clearly evidenced in its much flatter, brighter, less nuanced animation. The series reused the De Angelis's opening theme, with new lyrics to reflect the change of premise, and employed the lyrical version of Romy as a closing theme. The series was dubbed into English by the London-based company Village Productions, Ltd., which had worked on dubs of several other contemporary BRB shows, such as Sandoken. Although the voice cast was entirely new, the group clearly drew upon the intersound dub of the original series as a source upon which to base the character voices. Topic: Home Entertainment Releases. In 1995, BRB International released three Willy Fog TV movies: Around the World in 80 Days, Journey to the Center of the Earth, and 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Each one created by heavily editing the first series from roughly 650 minutes in total down to a truncated 75 minutes apiece. All three films were dubbed by Village Productions, who had previously dubbed the second series for the United Kingdom, and later reached the United States on DVD. Notably, the Village Productions dub for the first movie was able to secure use of Intersound's English-language version of the theme tune. 
In 2004, Revelation Films released all 26 episodes of Around the World with Willie Fogg on DVD in the UK, across five region zero encoded discs. Extras included character profiles, a Jules Verne biography, and bonus episodes of Arthur, and the Square Knights of the Round Table and Dog Tanyon and the Three Muskhounds. In 2005, all five discs were collected in a complete series box set. Also in 2004, the first nine episodes of Willy Fogg 2 were released on DVD by Direct Video Distribution Limited. In the UK, across three volumes of three episodes. No further DVDs were released, and the series was left unfinished. This fate affected many other BRB series being released by the distributor at the time, such as Mort and Phil, The Untouchables of Elliot Mouse and Sandoken. <laughs> Willie Fogg, the musical Willy Fogg, L Musical was released in 2008 in celebration of the show's 25th anniversary in its home country of Spain. With the original cartoon soundtrack by the De Angelises, the theatrical performance featured live actors Jorm Ortenobas Fogg, Laura Toledo Romy, and José Troncoso Rigodon in makeup and masks to replicate the anthropomorphic characters of the cartoon. Tico is represented as a puppet manipulated by Celia Vioc. Scripted by original series creator Claudio Bean Boyd and directed by Ricard Reguant, the musical ran twice a day in the Teatro Hagen das Calderon in Madrid from October 2008. Although originally intended only to run until the end of the year, the show's success saw its run extended first until early February 2009, after which it proved so successful that it went on tour around the country until the end of the year.